Hello, everyone. I want to talk about worksheet uh, number three, dividing lines. And um, you can print it out and direct, directly tape it to your board. But I'd rather you get an 11 by 17 sheet. Let's do our standard taping, making sure everything's straight. Um, no border for this um, worksheet. Um, so you don't have to create um, a border here. But we're going to draw four lines. I'm going to do the first one for you. We're going to be dividing some vertical lines into units. And the scale that you have, the architectural scale, has a bunch of units. Um, one side, like this one for instance, the 16th side, you'll see 1 through 12, right? That's how many inches are in a foot. So I got one unit, two, three, four, and so on. If I turn it around the 3 sixteenths, I can have units going this way, the 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then if I go from left to right, this is 3 30 seconds equals a foot. I have some units there, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then and so on. Here's the quarter inch. If I go from right to left, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So these are units within this architectural scale. And we're going to divide each of these four vertical lines into a specific number of units. So the first thing to do, I'm going to do letter or number one, way on the left there that's already done in the example sheet. I'm going to draw a line, some random height. This height is fine. And then I'm just going to draw a horizontal line out to about here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick one of these sides of the architectural scale and it says, I believe, to create this first example, nine units. Number two on the uh, extra uh, worksheet. Number two, it says to create this one in nine units. Divide this line into nine units from there to there. So this horizontal line is going to be sort of helpful, of course, because what um, you're going to do is, for instance, I'm going to choose the three-eighths. It's here, or it says three-eighths. That's three-eighths equals a foot. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the zero down on this corner, the zero, right? And then I'm going to rotate this, keeping the zero at the bottom of this line and rotating until I find one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine units on the horizontal line that I did. So I just got to spin this a little bit and make sure that this zero is on the bottom end point of that vertical line. And then the, there's my nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw, making sure that you hold the scale down, I'm going to draw a light line against, oh, you can't move it, right? You got to make sure this zero is on and this nine is on that horizontal line. Make sure you don't move it, draw a light line and then draw tick marks. The zero, the one, the two, the three, the four, five, six, seven, eight, and then nine is the line that's up above. And let me zoom this down, or let me bring the, the cam down for you. You can see here, that there's the zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So what I did, let me see, there's the three eighths, right? Three eighths, and then I put the zero right at the edge, and then put the nine right here. The, the ten is for the other side, right? The other side of the scale. So there's one, two, three, four. Oops, one, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Because we're dividing this vertical line into nine units. So now that I have my my dots here or my tick marks, what can I do? Right? Well, what I'm gonna do is now draw lines across. One. Two, three, 
Get that lead out of there. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. In that one is nine. I've divided this line into nine segments. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Into nine equal segments, right? That's that first line. Now, the next three, let me move this up a tad. Now, the next three you're going to do on your own. Um, so, line two, just make sure you, you draw it. Maybe, maybe make this one a little bit bigger. Line two, we can come up here like that. A little taller, right? And let's just draw a horizontal line at the top. Let's make it go there, right? That's fine. So now in the instructions, it says line two is going to be, is going to be six equal divisions. So what do you think is going to happen there? So what I'm going to do is look at my scale and see where I can get six units to make that happen. Some might be too big of increments to, to make that happen, but it all depends on how far your horizontal line is. So what I'm going to do is, let's see, let's go to, can I do half inch? No, it looks like that's not going to cut it. Let's do the three quarter. Will the three quarter do it? If I put my zero here, I got to do six units. Is that what it says? Yeah, well, I can do that. Look at that. So if I put my, let me zoom this in a little bit. I'm using the, the three quarter side. I said I wasn't going to do this one, but I'll do this one. <laughs> uh, three quarters, if I put the zero at the bottom and then turn it until there's one, two, three, four, five, six, because it's the three quarter side, so it's the lower number. These higher numbers are for the other side. So if I put the zero at the bottom and I spin it until I get to six, looks like I'm right there. At, here's my zero at the bottom here. And you can see the six. Oops, see, you can't move it. You just got to be careful. There's the, let me see if I can do this. There's the zero right here and then here's the six on this line so what can I do is now I can tick mark one two three four oops a little shaky five six now I can draw this light line here while I hold this steady now I'm going to draw horizontal lines really quick for you and now I know that that line has been divided in six equal units just by using this method with this scale, finding the appropriate uh, units that you have to, for this one, this second line is six units. Draw a line to my dots. And now I know that this line has been divided into six units equally. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then do, do uh, the next one, maybe shorter, to be a little bit challenging. If you want to do a couple more, this line here, let's say. And then, right, you got to draw a horizontal line to some length across. And then the next one is, you got to split that into 10 equal divisions. And then the last one is nine equal divisions. So the last one will be a line maybe like that high. And again, you got to draw this horizontal. And then again, you have to find the units where you put the zero down here. And so that's 10 units for the third one. And then this last one over here on this side, this one's going to be nine units. So you're going to put the zero here and find out where nine units are, where nine units touches this horizontal line. And on this one, where 10 units touch this horizontal line. And that's basically dividing a line. That's the method we're going to use for um, our next exercise. So this exercise is sort of like a warm-up to that. Okay, does that make sense?
Thank you.